I am working on a little craft today to kind of spruce up our chicken coop and run. Um, it's kind of plain. I want it to look cute for the spring and summer. So I am making these little window boxes. Now I got these artificial flowers at Hobby Lobby. I am not a fan of artificial flowers. I love to garden and we have house plants and I like real, real flowers and real plants. But these little boxes are are so small that and that our coop is so far from the house that they're gonna in the summer heat dry out and I, I know I won't be able to keep them watered and um, it'll be a waste so we're going with artificial flowers and see how long they last and hopefully they'll be easier so to start I got these window boxes from Amazon they came in a pack of five they are metal uh, they have drainage holes in the bottom. These will be outside, so I want the water to drain out of them, but it makes it perfect to use with real soil and real plants, which it's nice to have that as an option in the future. Um, I'm only gonna use three today, so the extra two I'll either store, or these would even be cute, you know, just as little storage containers in the house. But they have in the back these little hooks, and they come with these that just slide and hook on so that we can hang it. Now, I am hanging these on a rounded chain link top rail so they are rounded, but Amazon has styles that are square too um, that you could use if you're hanging them on something else, but that's those. And then I got some of this from Hobby Lobby dry foam. It This came in a six pack for five dollars and then it was 40 percent off so um we want the dry foam these are not fresh flowers so we don't need the foam we do not want the foam that gets wet and absorbs like what you see in real floral arrangements so this is dry foam it's super lightweight and um this is what we're going to use it super easy to work with so i lucked out I thought I was going to be hot gluing the foam into these so that it wouldn't fly away, but it's actually like the perfect size that it compresses down in there. It was like a really lucky match. So I just pushed it to the bottom. It is not coming out. Um, but I, you know, if, if it didn't fit, you could easily piece them together, cut them and then um, hot glue them. So then the next thing we got were these pre-made bundles. So they weren't my favorite. I went around and I picked lots of little individual sprigs that I liked. And I realized I was looking in the fancy expensive section and like there was no way I was going to spend that much on, you know, flowers that are going to go way out back in the chicken coop. So these bundles were at Hobby Lobby. $12.99. I got three of them. And again, they were 40% off. And I just wanted something that looked kind of wildflowery and like springy colors. And um, actually my 13 year old went with me and was very patient during all of my indecisive shopping. And uh, he's the one who actually found these. So that worked out. So we need to cut them. <clears throat> now, this is way too tall and I need to stick them down in the pots. So, um, wire cutters and I'm going to cut them up kind of higher because I want them to be tall in the pot, but not too tall. So I'm just going to kind of pick a level and cut them. of them I cut kind of low so I'm going to add some leaves to them so that we have more you know greenery in the bottom there's two of these got cut off so I'm gonna slide those off and we'll kind of add those to other sections That one was like a little tall. 
so I'm going to trim and just kind of trim and work on them however you like. There's my three boxes and they are really cute. I am rethinking how I have always felt about artificial flowers. There's like a time and a place. These are really cute. Okay, I'm gonna go put them out on the coop and see if it transforms. All right, here is a before. This is what our coop looks like now. It's cute and clean, but kind of plain. So let's add some color. little pop of color with their little window boxes and I have two more I could do two more but I don't want to overdo it what do you think ladies cute I really like it Okay, let's go see if they thanked us with some eggs. Did you guys leave us some eggs yet? It's midday. There should be some eggs. Oh, four. Yes. They didn't leave those, but thanks girls. We're still waiting on them to leave, leave us some eggs. Some tiny little silky eggs. coop is really far from the house but you can't really see it on camera well but in person you can see that there's little flowers out there it just looks like a little something extra I like it let me know what you think